Alright, so let's continue with our implicit fun implicit differentiation. Okay, let's say if I ask you differentiating y x, y equals to x, what do we get? Differentiate it. We can say dy dx equals to 1. I can also write it something like this. Differentiate x to the respect of dx. It means I'm differentiating x to the respect of x. And we can say sort of dx dx equals to 1. And we are happy with our life. Understand? Differentiating Differentiating this So this one you're differentiating Y Okay, let's make things a bit tough uh, What about differentiating D eh, Sorry Differentiating Y squared equals to X squared Differentiate I, I know we can square root But let's differentiate it But what about differentiate the right side first? Easier. We got normally 2x. Okay. Power of 1. Okay. And then you times with dx, dx. And we can cut it off. What do we get? 2x1 lah. Okay. Happy? You got the same thing, sir. Life is good, sir. Okay, uh, sorry, I missed. I should have times with 1 and x0, which also 1. Because this one power 1. one minus yeah, 1 minus 1, 0. Okay. Sorry, a, a bit too fast there. <laughs> okay. So, what happened here? Differentiate the 2. It comes in front. Right? And then here, the power. Minus 1. And then this one, the base. Basically, you differentiate d dx, the base. Are you okay? Understand the concept? So, we are applying the same thing for this side. So, firstly, the 2. And then you copy. You copy the y. What happened to the power? Power 1, minus 1. And then you differentiate. What? What's the base? Y. And then we start with it. 2y, dy, dx. Understand? Okay, that's all you need to know for tonight. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Anybody bring Conjuring movie that we can play tonight? <laughs> Those are the basics. So now we are applying that basics to far more complicated situation. Uh, how do you differentiate UV? What rule is this? Product rule. There's many ways of writing down product rule. This is just one of the way. It depends on what's your mood. And tonight, I'm in the mood of this. So now, I'm asking you, how do I differentiate x, y? It's a product rule as well. This is u, this is v. Let's go with color coded first. U prime, V prime, V plus U. So let's begin. The easiest one, the V plus U, Y, U, U prime. Differentiate X. One, very good. 
differentiate y. Differentiate x. 1 and there's dx, dx, right? What happened to dx, dx? Disappear. Now you differentiate y. Y, 1, 0, dy, dx. Uh, of, of course, if you're a if you, if you pro, you don't have to write that one down. Lah. Just straight away with dy, dx. Basically, differentiate y, what do you get? You don't, you don't get 1. Remember this one. Differentiate this, what do you get? dy, dx equals to 1. Remember this one again. Differentiate y squared, x squared. What do you get? The right side first. To x, you can write down dx, dx. dx, dx equals to 1. No need to write down. This one, 2y, dy, dx. Basically, if you differentiate to the respect of x, respect of x, then only, only x is the one that disappear. y does not disappear. Understand that? If I differentiate y to the respect of x, you got that, dy dx. It does not disappear. It does not become 1. So this one here, I get myself 1 dy dx. y plus, sorry, not u, x. You guys okay? Oopsie. You guys okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going as slow as possible with multiple examples. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Someone want to enter and the door's locked. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's famous for today. All right, let's continue, let's continue. Okay, how do you differentiate u over v? Quotient rule. V squared, v minus u, U prime, V prime. Okay, I, I want you to to give a special attention to that. I, I should have mentioned last time. The... Oh my goodness. These are one of... I mean, you need to get the order correct. Either you get yourself U prime, V plus U V prime, or... U V prime plus V U prime. Uh, I cannot interchange. If not, I get confused. Uh, I'm used to this one here. Whatever I'm trying to say is don't don't get things mixed up. All right, get your formula correctly memorized. This is for for that rule. Get this one correct. V U prime minus U V prime. In product rule, you don't care about the arrangement because it's plus. For quotient rule, you need to be precise about it. Okay, that's my bebel. That's my nagging. What about now differentiate x and y? Differentiate. I always like to do the easiest one first. So y squared. Y minus x now differentiate x 1 differentiate y dy over dx is it 1 or dy dx dy dx life is good I'm happy ok now let's go something more 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 uh, interesting what about differentiate this? 3x squared minus 2y squared equals to 6x minus 4y.
How? You move the X to the right and then factorize the X. No point, man. You can do it that way, but I think it's just a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can do it this way, no, not a problem. And then, what do you want to do? You can rearrange them, no, no harm's done, but... Yeah, in the end, we kind of wanted to rearrange them. You can just differentiate from here straight away. Differentiate 3x squared. Six, 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 Different. The yes, x one, yes. Differentiate this one. Negative 4. Y first. Y power of 1. Then. Dy dx equals to 6. Then. Yeah, you can do it that way. And now you see yourself, I see dy dx here, I see dy dx there. And normally you want to compile them together. It's either... We bring this to the left. For... dy dx minus 4y dy dx equals to... 6 minus 6x. What can I do about dy dx? I can factor it, factorize it out. Okay, uh, to the viewers, my nose is blocked due to the haze. I'm having difficulties problem. Breathing difficulties. And this one I can... Let's leave it that way first. Are you okay this far? Now, what do you want to do? Normally, you want your dy dx to be alone. So, this one here. I can bring it down. And what about can I do with a 6 and 4? I can factorize it. 6 and 4. 1 minus x. 1 minus y. Are you okay? Am I too fast? Do you want me to slow down? Yes. Yes and no. Jerebu is so bad. He is so bad. Now basically, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just factorizing my dy dx. It's, it's just a basic math skill. The only thing new is that if you differentiate y, what do you get? dy dy dx. If you differentiate y squared, what do you get? 2y dy dx. If you differentiate y cubed, what do you get? 3y squared. It's the same thing. There's nothing new except than that. Okay, 6 and 4, I can factorize. What do I get? 3 over 2, y minus x, y minus y. You guys okay? Yes. Normally, we don't, as a mathematician, we don't like that answer. We don't like to have our x and y to be minus. Alright, uh, y minus x, I can also rewrite it as what? Okay? Now what about 1 minus y? Yes, this negative we can... So we got ourselves x minus 1, y minus 1. Are you okay? Am I too fast? No, for you, yes, I know. 
Just nice. Okay, can anybody figure out there's a better way than this? Slightly better way. Uh, the better way will be this one, you bring it to the right side instead. And this one, you move to the left. And you end up with the same answer. Okay, you end up over here. Okay, in exams, which one is okay? I think both is okay. Alright. Uh, if you don't factorize your negative, it's alright. But you need to factorize all of your x. I'll teach. Let's move on. A little bit of pause. Okay, while waiting for the Adan to stop, try this one on your own. Remember, differentiating y is just the same process. dy dx, y squared, 2y dy dx, y cubed, 3y squared, dy dx. Good luck with your life. Okay, how do I differentiate EYX? How do I differentiate EYX? Why is it a product rule? You got two different terms. U and V. What's product rule? It depends on your mood. I'm in the mood of this. So V, X plus E, Y. Differentiate E, Y. What do we get? Come again? Differentiate Y, what do we get? Differentiate Y, what do we get? Y, D, Y, D, X, Y squared, Y, D, Y, D, X. 3Y cubed, 3Y cubed, 3Y squared, dy dx. So, differentiate y, what do you get? dy dx. dy, uh, should just use blue. Differentiate x. 1. Plus, differentiate 2y. 2 dy dx can put uh, equals to differentiate 3 e to x oh shoot 6 to x are you okay? but normally I want my dy dx to be alone so this one here transfer 6 e to x minus dy and I can see I got dy dx here I got dy dx here what can I do? factorize it out dy dx x ey plus 2 are we happy with our answers right now? Not that finally happy. How do we be happily ever after? Transfer it to down here. So dy dx equals to 6e to x minus ey x ey plus 2. Now we are happy. You okay? Add one more ringgit if you want me to stay here. Free subscription is over. Okay. What about this?
You want to do first or you want me to do with you? Together, together. Okay, what about one of you come in front and we do together, together? <laughs> Okay, how do we differentiate y squared? And how do I differentiate ln? One over copy xy and then you differentiate inside. How the heck do you differentiate x, y? Product rule. x, u prime v plus u v prime. Depends. Tonight I'm in that mood. So, y plus x. Differentiate x. 1. Differentiate y. Divide x. Am I happy if I leave my answer in this way? No. Why not? The why the X need to be alone, yes? Congratulations if you remember that far. But I don't think we can continue yet. We need to multiply inside. Okay, how do I multiply this and this? The one is a bit tough. We can do it this way. So X and X can cut it off. Y, Y can cut it off. Am I too fast? But can you catch up? Can you, can you keep up with it? Can you keep up, keep up with the speed? Is this killing you already? Yes. <laughs> what, what do you want me to do? I don't know. <laughs> 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 what, what's killing you right now? Yeah, yeah, going to implicit is just... It depends on how good is your basics. Okay, this one continue. Alright, I want my dy dx to be alone. So this one and this one. Most likely I'm bringing the right side to the left. Okay, if I'm bringing this to the left, I see dy dx, they are the same, right? What can I do? I, I don't like to waste my time too much, so I always factorize once I gather things up. 2y minus 1, oh, sorry, 1 over y. And then I just got 1 over x. Now, how do I transfer this to there? The easiest way to go is to change this one to fraction first. Uh, no, no, no. Change this one to fraction first. 2y squared minus 1 over... Uh, life is a bit easier. Are you still following me? Don't die, don't die. And then just cross multiply them up. Y over X two Y squared minus one. Are you okay? Please tell me you are still alive. Take a deep breath. <gasps> okay, 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 they're still alive. Okay, let's try with this one. This one, you got Trigo. How the heck are you going to differentiate it? 
let's say this one, put a bracket there. Any good idea how do we start? Trigo first. first, you're quite right, but this time you got sung and cos. Yes, product rule. It's two terms there. Right. So product rule U prime V plus U V prime. So let's start with the easy one. Just copy the cos y and copy the sine y, sine x. Sorry. Now the I differentiate sine x. Differentiate sign, you get cos. And of course, you can say, sir, differentiate the bracket, sir. I got one. I should have used blue just now. Differentiate cos y. Negative sign. Differentiate cos. Negative sign. Don't tell me I got things wrong. Deficient sign give you? Do I have negative here? Alright. Deficient. Deficient cost give me negative sign. Yes. I'm still seen tonight. Uh, I might be wrong. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not that good with Rigo. Okay, do, okay. now, what's inside the bracket? Ha ha. No, you copy the bracket first. And then you differentiate. Dy dx. Now you got it right. Differentiate to... Differentiate to... Are we done? No. Why not? You want to separate the dy dx, very good, but we only have one dy dx, right? We don't have the other dy dx, so, you know, we can leave our answers there. Can we leave our answers there because we only got one dy dx? Why not? The dy dx need to be alone, so you move the rest, so which one should we move? Uh, I prefer we move the right one because the right one got negative. Okay, uh, but we are not entirely finished because there's uh, this this one is actually a times. So let's make our life a bit easy if we tidy it up a bit. This one cos x. My professor, they always like to put bracket at there. Okay, I can move the left to the right, but I got negative over here, so it's better to bring the negative to the right side. So we don't have to times negative. The rebu so bad, they cannot see. By the way, uh, to the viewers, uh, Jerebu mean his Malaysia right now. What date is today? 21st of September 2019. Malaysia right now is hitting one, one of the worst haze in history. Who caused the haze? Uh, yeah, let, let's not start an internet war here. <laughs> okay, what can we do with here? Okay, you, you can sort of leave your answer that way. It's pretty much fine in exams. Pardon? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of right. 
Let me have a look a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go further. Okay, I, I can switch that side right now. Yeah, you quite right. Cos x, sin x, cot x, cos y, sin y, cot y. Oh yeah. Can I combine this one becomes cot squared x y? Pretty much no. I went too far. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I kind of like tonight's class. It's simple. It's not simple, it's light and easy. <laughs> I think that's what maths need to be, just fun. Okay, how do we continue this one? Uh, what about if I give you one minute to try? Switch on your brain. <laughs> yeah, one minute. Uh, you want tips first before you do? Okay, I, I give you a small tip. How do you differentiate y sin x? Y product. You see there are two different terms. This is U, this is V. Okay, I'll give you one minute for you to try. You okay? You okay? Okay. Okay. Really? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the back. Let's stay alive. Lazy already. Too easy. Where's my mooncake? I only have mentos. Oh yeah, the mentos is fine. One enough lah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is on video, you know. Before we were watching me. Eh? Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Differentiate cos y, give me what? Negative sign. Y. Oh, yeah. That sounds so good. I want y dy dx to be alone. So I compile them first. Let's sing a proper song. Linking Park. One thing I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I design this line to explain through time. All I know, time is a valuable thing. She fly by with the pendulum swing. She count down to the end of the day. Takes life away. So unreal. Take the clown below. Watch your time goes out of the window. Try to hold on, didn't even know where to it all. Uh, you can't take everything inside, you know I try. It all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory. Time I tried so hard, and yet so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. Are you okay with this? Are you okay? Yes. Are you happy with this answer? Yes. You can factorize the negative. One more time, what should I do? <laughs> Alright. Oh man. Well, uh, 
to be honest with you, that answer is quite fine because negative is just a. Uh, no, no, no. Negative is just a uh, constant. You you got uh, quite a perfect mark in exams. But mathematicians they like to do this. I hope we got the same answer as the back. The the back the back stops here. But uh, this is a bit better. Okay, I give one more to you. For you to think about your life. I don't think this is too bad. Yeah, good luck. Don't die. Do you need help? Are you okay? Need help? Raise your hand. My goodness. What happened to them? Oh, call, huh? <laughs> All right. What about I, I give you 30 seconds head start? Okay, if you're differentiating thing to x, the power differentiate, and you copy the thing, and you times the ln base, which is ln 2. Okay, I hope that helps you. I hope it helps. Differentiating y, dy dx, differentiating thing to sin x, differentiate sin, cos x, copy the whole thing. And then, uh, we happy with the answers. Can we leave it this way, sir? Should not we rearrange them first, sir? Nah, same marks. Same marks in exams. Don't care. Alright, that's a normal differentiation for implicit. Thank you. Comment, share, like and subscribe. That's a basic one.